Greetings students, Eugene here and this is a video um, regarding the Serial Box spoof project and how to go about creating fictitious nutrition facts. So I provided a uh, an image of nutrition facts in the materials folder. I want to overstate and emphasize the fact that your nutrition facts need to be vector whenever I go to check your PDF. If I zoom in and it's an image, I'm going to assume that you uh, maybe intentionally, maybe unintentionally cheated. So uh, the, you, you'll need to type this stuff out. So I'm going to click copy image, get that on my clipboard, and go in to my program here and I'll open up, uh, you know, the last cereal box that I made, which should be somewhere in here. <laughs> I don't really need a cereal box to open up, but I thought I had one here. All right. Um, I don't see one, so uh, let's skip that. Let's just go to File, New, and I'll just open up whatever. Here's my nutrition facts right here. Now, uh, on the template, the area is way taller than this. And um, the idea is to put nutrition facts on there and then above there have a little blurb from your your uh, mascot. So uh, that'll be discussed in a, in a different video or in class. So let's do this. How's it work? Well, first off, you want to put the whole thing inside of one text frame and a lot of students try and do it in a bunch of separate text frames and that's that's a big big mistake don't try and do that you'll just drive yourself crazy just put it inside of one text frame and just type it out you know uh i'm going to type out nutrition facts in fact i'll, I'll type um, a lot of this stuff out right now not all of it just some of it and i'll pause the video for just a minute so i'll be right back Presto, magically we have a text box full of text right here. So I'm going to take this guy and format it. Now one thing that I always do when I'm formatting is I turn on my hidden characters so I can see how everything's set up. So show or type and show hidden characters and that'll show this guy. For this video I'm going to use tabs and I use this as an opportunity to teach you how tabs work in here. Uh, Follow along and you'll probably be a happy camper. But if you want to use spaces and drive yourself nuts, feel free. Feel free to use spaces instead. But you'll notice that this is actually going to be much quicker. Now I'm sure this looks a little daunting, but everywhere you see these little double arrows right here, this is a tab. And uh, this little backwards looking P is a paragraph mark. So that's a, a paragraph. I'll only be using what's called letting for this. And I'm going to do this all with keystrokes. So I'll talk you through the keystrokes. It just makes life easier. Well, not all of it, but a lot of it. So uh, how to, how, let's go ahead and get our point sizes down. So for nutrition facts, you know, I'm going to stick with Myriad Pro, which is a, a family on my computer. And I'll just go with uh, regular and bold, and I'll just stick with those guys. It's an easy way to work. Um, on your computer, you might use something else. Um, there's also Futura. In fact, I'm going to use Futura just because... I've got a full, a bigger family full of that stuff. See all these? So I'm going to choose uh, just a standard sans serif. It doesn't have to be Helvetica or something like that. Just something that has some family members. So I will choose Futura Demi here. And I'm going to take the size up. I'm going to press Control Shift in the greater than symbol to just make nutrition facts bigger. You know, it's a similar size to the one next to it here. Everything here that I typed out started off at a baseline of 12 points okay so that's my uh, point size I'm starting out from which is a nice standard point size if, uh, if you're using this image it should work just fine for what you're trying to do okay um, amount about six servings per container I'll leave it alone serving size one cup is bolded so I'm going to take it up a couple point sizes, maybe to, I'll click over here, take that up to 14, and then for the, for this guy, in fact, let me select all this. Me personally, I need to just click Futura regular 
for everything. Just so I, I'm starting off with Futura and I'm not in here constantly driving myself nuts. So I'll just go with Futura book. Then I'll go back into the nutrition facts here and I'll go grab uh, another Futura, which is what, Futura Bold or Demi or something like that. There we go. That works better. Please note, this is not going to look exactly the same as what you're seeing over to the side here. All right, so for serving size here, I'm going to switch off and just grab a, let's see, Demi again. Why not? That works just fine. It looks a little bit oversized, but I'm going to live with it. Where it says amount per serving, again, we're just going to go with uh, Demi. You might pick something out, that's something else out. So I'm not going to worry about the spacing yet. So for calories right here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and again do uh, Demi for both of these. And this part here might get a little complicated. But I'm going to blow this up and then take 170 here. And I'll be blowing it up as well quite a bit like that. I'll come back and deal with this formatting later. So per percent daily value, this particular paragraph will be aligned to the right. So I'll align this over here to the right. This will make sense here in a little bit. I could I could also tab it in if I didn't want to do that. And uh, that I just don't feel like it. All right, so here we go. Looking over here where it says total fat, and I'm just going to take and make this medium. In fact, I'm not going to mess with any of that. I'm going to keep things moving. So, um, everything else, I'm okay with it, okay? Maybe I'll go back over it and fix it later, but I'm not going to obsess over this. I'm just going to, because uh, I don't want this video to take take too long. You know, I want to test your patience. Watch this. I'll pause it. And I'll go through, and I'll add bold to all. Presto, I did that. So, now that that's done, let's go ahead and deal with uh, the next issue. Now, if... From here, it's kind of up to you if you want to leave these special characters on. They might actually make things a little bit uglier. Uh, I'm going to turn them off for the moment. I might turn it back on if I feel like it'll benefit me, but I know I have everything set up correctly. But you know what? For your benefit, I'll leave it on now that I think about it. Sorry, I'm being spontaneous there. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. So this here, I have this feeling like this is like 14 points. So let me fix that. I feel like that's a little, that should be a little bit bigger. All right, so here's our first challenge. Amount per serving. If you highlight this line, press the Alt key in the down arrow, and you'll notice over here, see over here where I'm clicking? This is letting. I can knock everything down, uh, which is nice. Then I'll go to type, and we're going to go ahead and get the tabs panel out. Oh, it's not in there, I'm sorry. I'm thinking the wrong program. Go down to the window, type, and open up the tabs panel. See how the tabs panel appeared right above here? So uh, what I'm going to do is just click where I want the tab to be. So this is tab one. Wait, hold on a second. I got to select the line that I want to work with, which is this line. And then I will click this tab and move it over. It's just like that. So this is what's called a left aligned tab. It's aligned to the left of that line. See that? So I can uh, leave it left aligned, or I can do it right aligned. I want to, uh, since it's going all the way over there to the side, I'll do right aligned, and I'll drag this all the way over to here, drop it off. And there you have it. it. Looks just almost exactly like the example. Now I do feel like this is a little bit wider than that guy is over there, than that column is. So I think I might drag this back a little bit. Make sure you don't add multiple tabs by by accident. This is the first tab. If I drop another tab here, then this tab that I have, there's actually three tabs here. Uh, you just want, every, every time you add a tab, it'll control the second tab. So this will make, that'll make sense in a minute. If you, if you, if you feel confused, don't worry. I'll answer your question in just a minute. But you might be like, well, what did that mean? You'll see. So uh, this line, I'm going to select it, press Alt in the up arrow, and bring that way up, just like that, see? And uh, it looks similar to what you're seeing over here. So per then I'll highlight percent daily value, press Alt in the down arrow, and move this down. Isn't this nice? And of course, you know, our intention is going to be to come back in here and draw these little boxes in. I'll, 
I'll add one right now just because of the fact that, well, why not? Yeah, it's just going to go like that. And we're just trying to loosely match what we've seen over there. And you'll notice that I'm not using, even though I could, I, I, I'm not using lines. I'm using uh, boxes. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Do what you want. I'm not paying that much attention to this particular part of the assignment. So here we go. Here we go. Here's where the uh, where, where things get a little interesting. Well, and then we learned about two tabs. Well, this is tab one, right? So we know we want this tab to move all the way over to here. And that was pretty easy, correct? We just lined it up. It's a it's a right aligned tab. I lined it up with the 170 there, which is what we want. But then we we come here and we have a problem. And the problem is, if I do the same thing, it'll try and pull everything over because I wanted this indented to here. So here's the trick. You need tab number one to control this guy. In fact, I, let me select both of these guys. Uh, it'll work better. Tab number one is going to control this guy. And he's aligned to the left with a subtle indent. Tab number two, will, while it's blue, click a right aligned, and then you can move it all the way over and just have it line up with that guy, just like that. See? That's how it works. Isn't that fun? And then you just kind of repeat that convention for everything else. Now you can do that one at a time, or you can try and just select everything all together. I'm going to select everything all together and do that one more time. Um, it might throw some things off, but it's not going to throw everything off. A couple of these it's going to throw off. In fact, the ones it's going to throw off, I'll, uh, well, I'll just live with it. I'll, I'll go back and fix it. But watch. Uh, here we go. Drag that over. But it did trash a few of these. It trashed this line right here. See? So I'll get my cursor blinking in there. And I'll just add another tab over here. That lines up with these. See? And this guy right here, the same thing. I'll just add a tab and line it up with that guy right there. There we go. Um, where it says 8% right here, there should not be, 22 grams should not have a tab after that. That was a mistake. So I'll, uh, I'll, I'll fix that. This shouldn't have a tab after it either. I'm not sure. No, no that, that one should have a tab after it. That's odd. Get dietary fibers, and then let's just scoot over and be 7%. This is weird. There is no, there's no reason this line should behave this way. Let me try and scoot this guy over. Oh wait, it's not a right aligned tab. That's why. Not sure why that happened, but it's fixed. So as you s select these different lines, you're going to see different configurations. They're ones that you set up. Oh look, I have an extra tab there. I don't want. Let me drag that out of there. So basically, this is a way to make custom tabs. One thing, and you don't have to, we're not going to do it on here, but if you select a line like this and you select a tab, you could choose to put what's called a, an underscore in here in the leader box and press enter and it'll actually do that. But that's not what we want in this case. We're trying to match what happened over here. So let's control a few more things where it says uh, vitamin D and all that. We'll select this line, just that line, and press alt and the down arrow. And we'll leave room. For uh, for this thicker boulder line, and we'll I'm gonna hold down Alt, drag this down here, and then we've got ourselves another line. And this starting to look nice. Where where the uh, percent of daily value is at the bottom, I'll select just the top line and press Alt and down on this paragraph. This is a full paragraph. It doesn't matter how much you select, or even if you just get your cursor blinking and drop this down. See that little uh, red guy right there that means the box is overset so just drag it down it just means there's more text that you can't see so uh, this looks pretty good except for the fact it doesn't have those extra lines in there one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all these lines at the same time just all these lines right here and I'm gonna hold down alt and the down arrow and add a little bit more space between them 
so that when and I'll, and I'll scoot this down but I did that so that when I go to add uh, the little additional lines in there the ones that I haven't haven't been added yet so that they'll look good let me select this line one more time and again this is looking overset let me drag this down I'll select this paragraph press alt and the down arrow with this paragraph selected and drag this down a little bit further so this looks a little bit better just a little bit. Now that the spacing is a little bit extreme here, maybe more extreme than I want. So I'm I'm going to rethink it for just a minute. Whenever you press Alt and the up arrow, if you if you look over here, you'll notice that it all jumps by quite a bit. You can control how much that space actually is. So you can literally control it exactly how how much space that's going to be. So I'll go over here and I'll type in 10 first. And that's way too much. I knew it would be. Um, let's do uh, 18. That's well. That's uh, well. That's not enough. Um, we we want it to be tighter than this. So let's try 15. So we're guessing around until we get in the range of what we want. And I think that's pretty good, right there. So let me scoot this up. And again, it doesn't have to line up exactly with what you're seeing over here. You know, with what you're seeing on the other side there. It really doesn't. Vitamin D. Needs to drop down again for some reason. I, I actually don't understand that. I thought I had that moved already. But whatever. We select protein 2 grams. Or actually vitamin D. And drag that down like that. Great. And I'll toss that in there. And then I'll toss that in here. There we go. Looking pretty good. Now the next part is annoying. You know, it, it, I'm not gonna lie to you. The next part is a little bit irritating. Oh, by the way, I, I didn't take care of this. Sorry. Again, this needs a tab that pulls it all the way over here. Nice. And if you want a bunch of spacebar marks in there, you know, you're allowed to do that. I think it's a mistake, but you're allowed. Oh, looks like I made a mistake over here. Let me scoot this over. That's sure. What happened here? What is this? Oh, I've got an extra tab. Yep, see that extra tab I put in there? That messed this up. All right, very nice. Just trying to make sure these line up correctly. Good, good. And this is not exactly lined up correctly with the others. You can tell by the where the paragraph uh, is sitting. Well, actually, it is. It's lined up well enough. Okay, great. I'm done. Uh, let's go ahead and drag this up here. Drag this up here. Then the last step uh, is a little bit painful. And please note, I won't have a heart attack if you skip it, but I will do it. You can simply go grab the pen tool or you could just go to the shape tool here and get the line segment and just drag yourself a line across like this and then make it a thin line just a thin black line like that now from here if you don't want to lose your mind if you don't want to deal with uh, if you don't want to deal with it and by it I'm talking about like the fact that you keep accidentally selecting your text frame just take your text frame for just a minute go over the layers panel swirl it open and take that take it and uh, just just lock it just like that see how I locked it now I can move these around freely okay I'm good so then I just keep holding down the alt key and I hold down the, the shift key at the same time make sure that these are, are the same size see how they're not so I better fix that Actually, this should go further across now that I really look at it. I think I think it might be... No, I'll make this line up with that. That's fine. Again, might be overthinking it. Let's go ahead and drop percent daily value down to here. Great. And then hold down the Alt and Shift key and just keep going with this. Now, this is a little bit of a guesstimate in terms of the spacing. Look how long it takes me. Not long. 
Watch out for things like overlapping descenders like I am the G right there. Just try to avoid that. Now this is a little tighter than I anticipated. It probably could have been more generous with the letting. But, you know, whatever. As long as it's not running into the descenders, it's okay. I think it could have been better. All right, so if you want to be uh, uptight, which is perfectly fine if you want to be. I have no idea exactly why they bothered to create this much emphasis here, but technically, where it says includes sugars, this scoots in. So I'm using my white arrow, pressing shift to jump by five pixels at a time rather than one, and the right arrow, and just pushing this in. And I pushed it back one so that it kind of lines up with what we saw over there. Okay, great. This is pretty good. And then for the rest of these lines, we're back to the same deal, which is I get my black arrow again, pull down Alt and Shift to keep the lines straight, and just keep dragging these down until I'm done. And I'm done. And look how beautiful my nutrition facts are. Aren't they nice? Now, uh, obviously, I can't change the, the size of this column anymore. In fact, I can't even select this column anymore because I locked it. But I can unlock it, and there we have it. What about the box that goes around it? Well, you want the white box that goes around it. Okay, you want that. Make sure this margin is kind of tight on this box. See how tight and close the margin is to the F right there? Try and be a little bit more generous than that. It just looks a little bit better. Uh, so I'm going to draw my box around here, and we'll be done with this little talk. Hopefully you found this helpful. Sorry that the video turned into a 20-minute video, but it's quite a bit of formatting. I did save you some time. Uh, give me some credit because I turned turned off some of the different parts. But, uh, you know, here we go. All done. Now I'll put a white background behind it, just like that. White fill. Put that in the back and put that on the side of my box. So just imagine the side of your box. Because I don't have that open right now, but you can just pop that in. And again, don't make it super long because you've got a, a whole nother... Uh, piece of information that you're going to be putting there. But there you go. Nutrition facts finished. Let me go to type, show hidden characters, and take a look at that. So all custom, and it will be vector when I go to zoom in on it. It's In case you're going to work on different computers, I highly suggest that you make a copy of it like I just did, and that you uh, convert it, convert the original to outlines. So create outlines. That way, if you go to a different computer or whatever, everything's already vector. So you don't lose your formatting in case you go onto another computer and you still want your nutrition facts to look half decent. You can have fun with these facts. You can put fictitious information in there. You could, instead of saturated fat, you could say whatever. Or you could take the numbers way up. It really doesn't matter. Just have a good time with it. And uh, make sure it looks like nutrition facts. But I'd love if there was an Easter egg in in your nutrition facts that just made it funny. All right, that's all I have to say. You guys have a have a good day, night, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. See you later.